In the last activity, students designed systems to collect water from the rooftops of houses. Most rainwater collectors in the United States are used for non-drinking purposes, such as washing clothes or showering. Prior to use, this water must be filtered to remove impurities and sediment. In this next activity, students will participate in an engineering design challenge to build a water filter. For activity four, each pair of students should be provided with the following. Scissors, two clear cups, a measuring cup, and a 20 ounce soda bottle. Each classroom should be equipped with soil, gravel, and sand, and a two liter soda bottle. First, have the students cut two to three inches of the bottom of their bottle with the scissors. The piece can be discarded and the opening will be the filter drain. Then, have the students place the larger stones into the bottle over the drain. Fill the bottle chamber with soil samples that will filter the water. Have the students design their own filter by choosing which materials and in which order to add them. Each group should record the order of materials and the quantities of each material. Have the students join together to make one bottle of dirty water. Each student then should fill one of their plastic cups with the dirty water to the same level. This water will then be poured into their own filter and collected in an other plastic cup as shown. Again, the most important part of this activity is discussing what contributed to the cleanliness of each group's water. Another point to discuss is how much time it took for the water to be passed through the filter. Here you can see a close-up of the filtered water, followed by a comparison between the dirty water and the filtered water. Just like the last activity, close by asking the students which designs worked best and why. Ask the students to describe how they would improve their designs as improvement is a very important part of the engineering design process. In the end, it's great to show your students real-world examples of rainwater collection systems. Just search for rainwater collection systems online and you'll find a number of examples. Try to find ones that are local as this will make it more relevant for your students.